in this video, I have got a little message for Paul Cook. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video now. It is literally quarter to 11 at night and I'm filming a video and I've got a hectic weekend. But let's get straight into it. Please subscribe to the channel down below. The support recently has been insane. Leave a like, alright? All the football vlogs have been smashing the like, so smash this video a like and let's get in to the video. So then, Ipswich Town Football Club. This team right here team I love and the team I support obviously if you don't know not so long ago we got taken over by a US consortium Game Changer 20 Limited and we've had Paul Cook as our manager for I think, I think since March blimey, 6 months our last game was against Newport County in which we did lose 1-0 it was a Carabao Cup fixture and we lost 1-0 now recently I've been scrolling through Facebook I've been scrolling through Instagram. I've been scrolling through Twitter. And the amount of tweets and posts I've seen regarding Paul Cook's future and regarding Paul Cook's status at Ipswich Town is a joke. And I want to talk about this today in this video because it actually bugs me. It really annoys me seeing all these tweets about Paul Cook and Ipswich Town. So we're going to get up some tweets. We're going to look through some tweets and we're going to give you my reaction. Okay. <clears throat> By the way, I've got a bit of a sore throat, so smash a like for me. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Twitter and we're going to get some tweets up and have a little talk about them, okay? So the first tweet is from Mark Beck, who um, who has tweeted saying, In Paul Cook's whole career as a manager in the Football League, his team hasn't gone beyond the second round of the league slash Carabao Cup. Paul Cook has three promotions to his name. That's all I care about. Trust the process and back your manager. In Cook, we trust. I completely agree with you, Mark. Um, obviously, this is a more positive tweet that I found and I took, and I completely agree. Another one. This this is another positive one. This this tweet is from Rossi. He's put Saturday is no more than just the second game of 46 for ITSC. So if you're panicking now, maybe this isn't the sport slash club for you. A hundred percent. We are literally not even two games into the league and people are already calling for Paul Cook out. It's a joke. The next one is from Kylo Smudge. He's just put Paul Cook out. Why? Why? What is your reason behind it? I want to know. Next one is from Daniel Dawes. He's put Paul Cook, like those before him, has put a team of kids and stiffs out in a cup competition and immediately has piled pressure on himself. All good going out of the cup early if you go and win your next league match. Too often in the past, we have not done that. Now, I can see where he's coming from, um, but put a team of kids out. He didn't, did he, really? Louis Barry, I know he's 18, but he's class. He's probably one of our best players. Johnny Aluko, not a teenager, not a kid. Yes, he, you can argue he may not have played football for a while, but not a kid. Wolfenden, holy. Maybe he played a couple of youngsters in the midfield, but... As a whole, the team we played against Newport County should be beating Newport County, okay? So we can't blame the team that Paul Cook has put out because that team should have won the game. And we didn't play bad. We had some good moments. The next tweet that I found is, the last three times we finished the first month top of the league, we finished mid-table. So obviously, last year we were top of the league for a bit and we finished mid-table. And then he's put, the last three times we got in the playoffs... We started the season very poorly. This will be a process. I'm not worried right now. Hashtag ITFC. 100%. 100%. Finally, Matty Cox, the boy, he's put a tweet saying, whoever is saying cook out, you're part of the reason where we are as a club. Get behind the club. Hashtag ITFC. I completely agree. Right, the last thing I want to say in this video is I want to mention a little statistic. I found this on Facebook. So... It says, for the Moners, because there are Moners, obviously I've not put loads of posts in this video because I've not got all day. For the Moners, George Burley won four, drew two, 
and lost 17 of his opening 23 games as Ipswich manager. John Lyle won just six of his first 25 games. Arguably, Ipswich Town's third and fourth most successful managers. Give Cook a chance. A rebuild after years of neglect takes time. Whoever, whoever wrote that has hit the nail on the head. There are so many Ipswich Town fans that, th that think change should happen like this. And it doesn't, okay? Because it does take time. We've rebuilt our whole squad. And yes, maybe the performance against Morecambe and Newport wasn't how we wanted it to be. But it is definitely improving. It's more entertaining. And... I am excited for the future. So my message to Ipswich Town fans and to Paul Cook is keep the faith, trust the process, and believe me now. Watch this video back at the end of the season and tell me how far we've come. Because I genuinely think this season is going to be a roller coaster, but we will achieve what we are aiming for, which is promotion. Okay? Give it time, trust the process, and up the Ipswich Town. Right, that is it for this video. I thought I'd just have a little rant because it needed to be done. I've seen a lot of tweets and I've seen a lot of posts and I wanted to address it and I wanted to talk about it. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. Obviously we need to be in a decent position, hopefully by Christmas. I'm not asking for us to go and smash the league 100 points, 100 goals. I'd like to see us back in the championship, whether it's through the playoffs or automatics. I just want to see us back where we do belong. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Just to let you all know, by the way, I can't make Burton, Albion or Cheltenham away, which is frustrating because I pretty much do every away game. But I've got family commitments and I've got work commitments. So I can't make the first couple of away games. So hope you all enjoy it. I'll be back and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye. Subscribe to Alex Griffin. Come on. <laughs>